Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to find the value of log to base root 3 of the cube root of 2. Given that log to base root 6 of the cube root of 4 is equal to a. So in short terms, we are required to find the value of this expression in terms of a. Now to solve this problem, we are going to start by changing the base of this logarithm from base root 3 to base root 6. And of course, to do that, we will apply the change of base formula. So we have that this, that is log to base root 3 of the cube root of 2 is equal to log to base root 6. Remember, the new base is root 6 of this, that is the cube root of 2, divided by log to base root 6 of the old base, which is root 3. Now we can write this as log to base root 6 of 2 to the power 1 over 3 because of this cube root. And in the denominator, we have log to base root 6 of the square root of 6 over 2. Because of course, you know that 6 over 2 is equal to 3. The next thing we are going to do is that we will apply the power rule to this numerator. We are going to bring down the power of 2, that is this exponent 1 over 3, to the front of this log term to become a multiplier. When we do that, this becomes equal to 1 over 3 times log to base root 6 of 2. But now, instead of writing 2, we are going to write 4 to the power half. Because of course, you know that 2 is the square root of 4. And in the denominator, remember that the square root of 6 over 2 is equal to the square root of 6 divided by the square root of to, according to our law of sorts. So in the denominator, we have log to base root 6 of root 6 over root 2. Now, the next thing we are going to do is to apply the power rule to this numerator twice. The first time, we will bring down this exponent of 4 to the front to become a multiplier. And the second time, we will take up this multiplier, that is 1 over 3, to now become the new exponent of 4. When we do that, we have half times log to base root 6 of 4 to the power 1 over 3. And now, in the denominator, remember that log a over b is equal to log a minus log b. So log to base root 6 of root 6 over root 2 is going to be equal to log to base root 6 of root 6 minus log to base root 6 of root 2. And of course, you know that this can be written as half times log to base root 6 of the cube root of 4 divided by, now, log to base root 6 of root 6 is equal to 1. So this is equal to 1 minus log to base root 6 of 2 to the power half once more because of this square root. Now let us look at this numerator. We have log to base root 6 of the cube root of 4. But we know that log to base root 6 of the cube root of 4 is equal to a. So in the numerator we have half a. And of course here we have 1 minus once more let us apply the power rule. So here we have half times log to base root 6 
and once more instead of writing two we are going to write four to power half because two is the square root of four and we can write this as half times a divided by one minus one small let us apply the power rule when we do that we have half times half times log to base root six of four now this is four raised to power one which can also be written as four raised to power three over three because three over three is equal to one and this can also be written as 4 raised to power 1 over 3 raised to power 3. Because of course, you know that in situations like this, to get rid of this bracket, all we have to do is to multiply these two powers. So this can be written as half a divided by 1 minus half times half is 1 over 4 times log to base root 6 of 4 to the power 1 over 3 to the power 3. And once more, we apply the power rule. When we do that, this becomes half a divided by 1 minus, when this comes down, we have 3 times 1 over 4, which is equal to 3 over 4 times log to base root 6. Now, instead of 4 to power 1 over 3, let us write this as the cube root of 4. Now, once more, look at this. We have log to base root 6 of the cube root of 4. Log to base root 6 of the cube root of 4 is equal to a. So, this is simply equal to half a over 1 minus 3 over 4a. And lastly, to get rid of these two fractions, we are going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 4. Because of course, you know that when we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the same quantity, we have not changed the fraction in any way. Half times 4 is 2. 1 times 4 is 4. 3 over 4 times 4 is 3. So we have that the value of log to base root 3 of the cube root of 2 when log to base root 6 of the cube root of 4 is equal to a is 2a over 4 minus 3a. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. It helps out a lot. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.